All right, today's all about bats, memorabilia, and old-time baseball. Some of the greats are in here, so we're getting ready to go in and check this out. pretty cool because these are some of the players that I grew up watching so it's cool to see folks that I watched and that I learned to love over base, many baseball seasons see them being inducted this year this is pretty cool all right so we just finished going through the baseball hall of fame and I want to give my review first <laughs> so, if you are not a die-hard, crazy baseball fan, it is not for you and it is not worth the money. Tickets are $25 a person, um, unless you qualify for a discount. Discounts are for seniors. Um, veterans holding an ID card and active duty holding ID card get in for free. Veterans, if you have proof of veteran status, you get in for $18, bucks. but honestly, even $18 bucks for me, eh, not really worth it. Yeah, I, I'm a baseball fan, and it was cool seeing some of the folks that I grew up watching, um, you know, hanging on the wall in there. But I can tell you that I was not that impressed today. Um, maybe it's just because I'm not feeling well, and maybe it's because there were too many kids unsupervised. Uh, but it was just, it, it just wasn't the experience I was hoping for when I went through. Yeah. Uh, just too many people just jumping in front of you. You, you didn't have time to, to read. Um, any of the plaques or any of the, the stats because there were kids just running around everywhere and I get it. it you know if I was a kid I would probably be super excited um, if I was a baseball fan or a baseball player um, however it just ruins it for everybody else that's trying to enjoy the baseball Hall of Fame so so if you want to come be here when the doors open <laughs> Or on some nights they're open as late as nine o'clock. So I would come like between seven and eight because I'm not kidding when we say there were busloads of kids literally running around the place. Yeah. So I mean, nothing against them. I get it. School's out. And, you know, there, there's a big baseball tournament going on here in the city. Um, just I don't know. Maybe if we'd have come at a different time. Uh, but you know, I'll give it a thumbs up just because it was cool seeing um, the guys that I watched when I was growing up. She's not a baseball fan anyway, so she's not even a sports fan. She just does it to tolerate my fanness, if you will. Your fanness. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that really stood out to me is those that were inducted into the Hall of Fame that had military service um, behind them. Uh, they were there was a, a a branch of service plaque, and when they served um, below their name, so that was pretty cool. I didn't know some of the the Hall of Famers that that I was accustomed to hearing. Were, at, were in the service and they were honored in there as well by their branch of service. So for me, that was kind of cool. All right, so we're here at the Doubleday Field, named after Abner Doubleday. Uh, and this field was first built in 1920. There's a game actually going on right now. It looks like either a group or a league team playing or a high school, couldn't tell. Um, but baseball is baseball, so I'm a fan. And uh, there's some, some old time greats that used to play on this field back in the day. Now uh, there's a long list hanging on the wall over here. So. Pretty interesting to find this out here in Cooperstown. You know how to drive a boat? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. In a minute. Yep. The throttle is a little bit sticky on this one, but um, but just make sure it's in neutral when you start it, and then forward. Oh, they're look not going to be able to look at, at their husbands ever That's again. That's very handsome. Look at that. Look. Look ahead. The sea is calm. And I know we've been through a lot. But just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come. And carry us like wind in our
the best time in Cooperstown, even with the Baseball Hall of Fame. Yeah, the Baseball Hall of Fame wasn't bad. I mean, you, you heard us talk about it on the video, and I was just having a bad day. I wasn't feeling good. I have nothing against kids. <laughs> I would have been just as excited at that age as they were. So disregard everything I said about that. No, everything he said was true. <laughs> So, but he's just in a better mood. I still advise you to go early in the morning, yeah. later in the evening, especially if you're going in the summer. But we did manage to rent a pontoon boat we and did. had the best time. Yeah, we can't remember the name of the marina, um, but it's a, it's kind of middle of the lake. It It's almost directly across from the castle. Um, I think that's a castle. I'll, I'll put it down below. So yeah. I'll put it across the screen. I'll look it up. Yeah, but phenomenal marina. We had a, there was a great restaurant yep. there. The young lady that was helping us that day was phenomenal and the information and tips that she gave us about the area, really a good place. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We totally got to relax, chill out, no social media, although we did take our cameras, obviously. We filmed a little bit for you guys, but it was amazing. Highly recommend it. But there was more play than work that day. That's for Definitely sure. Definitely more play We did than relax work. and have a good time, so it was nice. Now, if you plan on going out to Cooperstown, there is a state park there called Glimmerglass State Park. Glimmerglass, yep. And we uh, drove through there. It's a wonderful park that has a beach on the lake. It has playground, um, trails. It's it's a really nice place, so highly recommend it. Yeah, it's a bit of a hump to get there because you have to go around the lake, uh, but it was a nice drive and yep. the, the park is pretty big. So you, you'll have a lot of fun there. Yeah, we also, while we were there, we stayed at a Harvest Oats, which was called Fly Creek Cider Mill, and they were super nice and we were able to stay for two nights. Yeah, that's a bonus. Yeah, so if you're looking for a place close to Cooperstown or right on the lake, those are great places to start. Yeah, and if you're cutting through the area, those are those are must-see attractions. Yeah, so Bill managed to check off his bucket list for the Baseball Hall of Fame. I hear there's a Football Hall of Fame on the list as well. So hopefully we will manage to, <laughs> or I should say, I will manage to suffer through that as well. <laughs> yeah, and I'm hoping that it's at least halfway better than the Baseball Hall of Fame. Yeah. Oh. I'm more of a football fan than I am baseball. However, it was still a great check in the box for me. All right, so if you're planning on coming to Cooperstown, I will put links below for everything we've talked about. Um, also, you can stay up to date with us on Instagram, Facebook, and Our Village. When we update our locations <laughs> in Our Village. We're yeah. getting better. You might be able to find us the easiest on Our Village as to all the other places, but make sure you check us out so we can stay connected. We are in love with this community we're building, and we're so glad you're a part of it. Absolutely. And don't forget about our website, todayissomeday.net. Good information there as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And we will see you on, on the, the road. road. <laughs> oh, this is so boring. What are you got? <laughs> I was waiting for you to chime in. You were, yep, yep. I was agreeing with you. Yeah, yep, yep. And hit Otswego? Otsego. Otsego Lake. 